Hi folks, Thomas Sinson here with thomassinson.com and today is a very special episode. This is a break in our regularly scheduled Big Data Big Questions to talk about some breaking news. And so today, this week, if you're watching this, there was a big change in the Hadoop for data engineers and just in the data science community, there was a huge change and some huge news. Do you know what that was? Is anybody watching the news? Well, Cloudera and Hortonworks announced that they were merging together to form one company. So it was huge news. I mean, we talk a lot on this channel about data engineers. I've got courses around, you know, how to stand up your sandbox with um, Cloudera's uh, CDH, also with Hortonworks's, um, you know, HDP. I've talked to some about the certifications and I just released some courses around it. So this was huge news for the data, data engineering community, machine learning engineering community, and kind of what are, what's going on in the future. And so I wanted to take some time to jump in and really just discuss some of these some of these changes that are going on. So let's go through and talk about, you know, kind of what what my thoughts are on the process and what this kind of means for data engineers. I'll talk about that toward the end of this video. But before we jump into it, I did want to take some time to say thank you to the community for sponsoring and being involved in um, this channel here. We are growing. It's it's been an amazing journey so far, and I'm, I'm continuing to just learn more from you, the audience. So with that being said, if you have any questions, if there's anything I can help with, put them in the comment section here below. Jump on thomassinson.com forward slash big questions. Ask those questions and I'll get involved. And if you have any ideas for the show, maybe you want to see somebody get interviewed or or anything like that, just let me know. Let's, let, let's figure it out. Tell me what you want to see. So today we're talking a little bit about the news. So Hortonworks and Cloudera merging together. Kind of what does that mean? So I want to take a little little bit of a step back and talk about who Hortonworks is and who Cloudera is and kind of how we got to the merger here. And so Cloudera was actually um, founded out of the big data community from er the early days. So if you think back to uh, Doug Cutting, who was, you know, kind of a father of Hadoop, and he's one of the ones that really took it from an open source perspective. You know, he, he was highly involved in Cloudera and he actually worked at Yahoo with some other developers who became the founders of Hortonworks. And so there's a little bit of a, you know, synergy and a, and a team atmosphere from, from both these companies and they both kind of incubated and were heavily involved at Yahoo. So it was pretty cool. So if you saw any of the news about, hey, you know, Cloudera and uh, Hortonworks, Hortonworks merger, one of the things was Doug Cutting, who I love you, Doug. That was, that was an awesome uh, tweet that he sent out saying that, they were getting the band back together. And so they band back together because Hortonworks, you know, Hortonworks and even some of, you know, some of the early founders of Cloudera were all kind of incubated out of Yahoo. So pretty, pretty big news. It's kind of like going back to, you know, a high school reunion or, you know, I guess it's like a band, like Doug was saying, right? You know, getting the band back together. So a little bit of information though. So um, from a Cloudera perspective, uh, their, their platform around Hadoop uh, that we've talked about somewhat is uh, CDH. And then also with, with Hortonworks, if you follow my channels and you watch my Pluralsight videos, you know that there's is uh, HDP, so the Hortonworks data platform. So, you know, there are some similarities there. What's gonna happen from a technical perspective, I'll talk about here in just a second. But from a business perspective, so Hortonworks was the first uh, company to actually, out of the data engineering and Hadoop uh, community to go IPO. So they went IPO. Uh, public offering out in late 2014 and so they were the first ones and Cloudera didn't go IPO until I think it was April of 2017 and so they both they're both publicly traded companies their first you know they're, they're the both big publicly traded companies that were all in on Hadoop right these were you know th these were the people that were, were were in the companies that were involved with Hadoop and how that platform and kind of you know having that as their um, business right a little bit of differences between the two. So um, Cloudera, uh, they have, you know, they're heavily involved in the open source community, but they also do have some paid modules that aren't aren't necessarily um, open source as well. Where Hortonworks is was more of a pure open source kind of pay for support model. So it's going to be interesting to see how that business, you know, how, how those changes are going to be implemented there. So I think it's good and it's going to be great for the Hadoop market because it's really consolidating that. And with both of them being so involved in open source, I don't see any changes um, from that perspective as far as, hey, you know, we're still going to get we're still going to get, uh, you know, great open source open source projects and we're still going to 
going to be innovating as a community. So I think from that perspective, and then also from a business perspective, this puts a consolidated message together. So, you know, for customers that are still evaluating because you know, they're still competing to some extent with the enterprise data warehouse, which, you know, I've talked about on this channel, that's kind of declining a little bit. And then there's also competition with the cloud, right? So, I mean, you can, you can stand up, you know, you can stand up a Hadoop cluster and other, other pieces that are non-Hortonworks or non um, Cloudera perspective in AWS and Azure and some of the other pieces. And so there's a, this puts them on the same platform where they're maybe not competing as much with themselves and they get to go and target some of those workloads um, and really compete with the cloud. So from a technical perspective, what does this mean? Um, so just a lot of speculation, you know, looking look, looking over it. I will say um, from a Hortonworks perspective over the years, they've, been, they've consolidated and they've been really big in the open, open data platform initiative. And so you've seen with Ambari and, and specifically with Hortonworks' platform where they've kind of consumed in some. So just two, two years ago, they pulled in IBM's Big Insights to be their standard and done the same thing with uh, Pivotals too. So still still waiting to see. I still think it's a great opportunity for data engineers to learn. So you know, don't take this video to say, hey, you know, since the merger, I'm not going to learn, you know, one or two of these new technologies. Uh, if you're still using Cloudera, still use it, still learn it. If you're still using Hortonworks, still learn, still learn it and still still be engaged with it. But, you know, continue to watch the news. And so thanks for taking time today. This was an awesome, uh, fun episode, a f really exciting time to find out what's going on in the big data community. Until next time. Thanks.